tutorial on um, <clears throat> how you can get um, music onto your iPod or iPhone using a new iTunes library or a, an iTunes library on a new computer without having to restore. So uh, recently I got my, uh, my uh, MacBook Pro and um, I got a new iTunes library obviously because it's a new computer. So uh, I just wanted to put some uh, some new music on my iPod. But when I went to sync into music, you go to sync music, it gives you this message right here. And all you can pretty much do is remove sync or use programs like iPhonebox or whatever, which takes a really long time. So uh, here's a really quick and easy way to get around that. Just press done. Let's say I want... Uh, ASAP Rocky to go on my iPod and uh, if I sync it, if I go in here and sync it, you get that message, right? So you have to restore your iPod. But all you have to do is click on it, pick it up, and drag it into into this sidebar right here, into any of your playlist or or, or just your your iPod. And you can see up here it's gonna start syncing without restoring your iPod. So it's gonna put new music on and keep the uh, old music on as well, so you don't have to restore. So uh, that was a really quick and easy way to um, put new music on your iPod using a new iTunes library without having to restore your iPod or iPhone.